I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you ain't. These videos are not for children. If you are a children, then piss off. Hey there, I'm Vin Fuso. And when I was growing up, I can always remember being entertained by a little show, you may not have heard of it, it's a little bit obscure, but a show by the name of SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, I can explain. And if you haven't heard of SpongeBob SquarePants, I, I mean what, what, have you been living under a rock? Boo! I want to begin by saying this video might be a little bit different compared to all the others in the series. Not only is this the first animated series to get a day blank died video, but I'm also not going to be following the typical format so that this way I can deliver a stream of consciousness on my thoughts about the Spongebob franchise and blah 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 blah. Why am I continuing? You already done listening. Well, let, let, let's just get right into it. This little yellow sponge has become quite a commodity over the years, with many hailing him as Nickelodeon's Mickey Mouse. And that's hard to dispute initially. Because this holy prick has staying power unlike any Nicktoon that has come before him or after him. Spongebob Squarepants to this day is celebrated in many different ways. The show itself is still currently running, and it's a real juggernaut on Nickelodeon. He's their golden boy, he's their mascot, he's the face of that entire network. And if you were to tune into the channel to this day, you'd probably be greeted immediately with a brand new episode of Spongebob Squarepants or at the very least, a marathon of previous episodes. I can't even begin to tell you how many memes this show has spawned. Here's just a couple. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Wait, SpongeBob! We're not cavemen! We have technology! Imagination! That hat makes you look like a girl. Am I a pretty girl? Oh, well, um, you're, you're beautiful. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. What a baby. Help! Help! My leg! Is this the Krusty Krab? No! This is Patrick! Oh, I'm not a Krusty Krab. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. And I want to emphasize, that was just a couple. There are so many of them that they even have their own line of Spongebob meme figures. That's how far this has gotten. We truly do live in the darkest timeline. I can honestly, without any hyperbole here, tell you that me and my friends, all groups of 20 and 30 something year olds, on a daily basis when we hang out, quote Spongebob to each other. I'm not exaggerating. And I'm also not talking about a group of like three or four people. I'm talking about all of my different groups of friends. When we're hanging out at some point in time, it, it, it's bound to come up. Somebody's gonna quote the show. It, it just, it just happens. Now I can see. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have oh to now I see it. <laughs> and we got paint on it. <laughs> the vast majority of our friendships are just SpongeBob jokes. You guys realize Absolutely. that, right? Absolutely. That's been me and Sajid for over 10 years now. This isn't just average ordinary darkness. <laughs> this, this is advanced darkness. darkness. All the time. And that's because SpongeBob is more than just a cartoon. This little guy is a pop culture icon. So while he does fit the Mickey Mouse qualifications, I think that it would be more accurate to say that he's Nickelodeon's The Simpsons. Because yes, while he was highly entertaining in his prime, he's been allowed to exist for far too long. And I think most people, if not everybody who's ever seen the show, could agree that there are much better days behind him than there are ahead of him. Like me with my boyish good looks. Excuse me, sir. I hope my horrible ugliness won't be a distraction to you. Not at all, boy! <laughs> You're going down, Tubby. Tubby? <laughs> Nobody calls me Tubby! But SpongeBob, uh, unlike my looks, is still around today. Now you may wonder, how is it possible that this series quote-unquote died? It's still going strong, it's still beloved by many. What's wrong with it? Well, what's so different about it now? 
Well, you see, Spongebob used to be a show that appealed to all age groups. I I mean, sure, yes, it's a show that was made primarily for kids, hence being put on a kids' network, but it was also a show that a parent could sit down and watch alongside their children and not want to take a nail gun to the temple of their head. If only my parents were afforded such luxuries. But unfortunately, when I was little, they were stuck watching Barney and Friends. Yes, my poor parents had to watch a show about a dancing adult dinosaur who spent all of his time with school children, and nobody, no, nobody questioned it. A dinosaur my father would ever so lovingly refer to as a big purple fuck. And being an adult, looking back on that show, that is a pretty accurate description. The show had just enough adult humor for parents to chuckle along with their kids, even if their kids didn't always know exactly what it was they were laughing at. Why, no, Gary, this isn't the bathtub. It's treasure! Look, doubloons! Don't drop them. I guess I don't need this disguise anymore. Um, I think I need to take a shower. And that's a good part of the reason me and my friends still quote the show. It's a big part of the reason many fans of the show can recite episodes nearly word for word and why people still to this day are buying Spongebob mac and cheese and Jello jigglers. And that's also why, ironically enough, around the release of this video, Nickelodeon had just had an old Spongebob game from 2001 remastered to the delight of people everywhere. The whole Spongebob concept was the brainchild of Steven Hillenburg. A lot of the characters, locations, and ideas were based on things and people in his own personal life. Hillenburg fought with the channel to keep his vision intact, and to not have it altered. Amongst other things, apparently Nickelodeon at the time was more interested in the Spongebob cast being a bit younger, which unfortunately still seems to be of interest to them. But Hillenburg fought tooth and nail about having Spongebob, and everyone else in Bikini Bottom, be of age. He also had some demands for the writers of the show. Those being that Pearl's mother never be revealed, the Krabby Patty secret formula should never be known, that Spongebob should never have a love interest as he is asexual, as are sea sponges, and that Spongebob should never get his driver's license. And upon researching this video, I just want to say Hillenburg may just very well be one of the most respectable cartoon creators of all time. As not only did he stand by his convictions of the series, but he also had no intention of trying to capitalize on this franchise for the rest of his life. Hillenburg understood that everything had an expiration date, and for him, when it came to Spongebob, that expiration date was after the first movie. Hillenburg felt that he'd gone as far as he could go creatively with the character and with the show, so he penned the first Spongebob movie as a definitive end of the entire series, which is why there's a real feeling of finality to everything in that movie. The movie gives a Spongebob properly driving a vehicle, even if it is just a sandwich, the introduction of the Krusty Krab 2, and by the end of the movie, Spongebob is made the manager of the secondary store. All of these things are pretty big plot points for the series. And yet, they're all forgotten about the following season. Like, literally all of it. None of these things are ever mentioned again in the show at any point in time. No one talks about the Krusty Krab 2, no no one acts like Spongebob's a manager, he's just a fry cook. Following the release of the Spongebob movie, the show continued against Hillenburg's wishes, causing him to leave Nickelodeon. And I think his departure is truly felt. Even if you didn't know what happened behind the scenes, even if you didn't know that little bit of backstory I just gave you, you probably noticed a drop in quality somewhere around the time that the first movie came out. It definitely, from that point forward, felt like the show was missing something. Because it was. Steven Hillenburg was pretty much the heart of Spongebob. He made the show pure and meaningful. And without him, well, the show just kind of felt like a silhouette of Spongebob. I don't think this is a groundbreaking or controversial opinion. Most people seem to agree with me on this. As a matter of fact, I think it might be one of the most overstated opinions on the internet. But, you know, maybe there's a reason for that. Like I said, even people who don't know about Steven Hillenburg outside of him being a name that came up in the title sequence feel that the show lost its touch around this period of time. Even those blissfully unaware of what went on on the show. The show past the first movie just progressively gets worse. 
I, I mean, don't get me wrong, they, they still have the basics down. But the show just kind of feels like a shell of itself. It, it starts to feel like a cookie-cutter version of the series. It goes from the actual show to being like, uh, I, I don't know, s someone on the internet's fanfic. They still had the same characters, the same designs, the same voice talent. But the show didn't have that unique spark it once did. The characters became flanderized and bastardized versions of themselves. No longer were they three-dimensional, two-dimensional characters. They were now just all summarized into one or two quirks or traits. Spongebob is optimistically annoying. Patrick is irredeemably stupid. Patrick, just how dumb are you? It varies. Sandy has an accent and she likes karate. Mr. Krabs is cheap. All right, all right. Well, well, I guess that one didn't really change. That stayed the same, but, but my point still stands. The subtle morality factor was now missing. The jokes didn't hit the same. And sometimes they didn't land at all. The dialogue was no longer quotable. And episodes weren't as memorable or as iconic as they once were. Not to mention that it was no longer appealing to all age groups. It became the most simplified version of the show. I won't say the show immediately lost all its quality when Hillenburg left the franchise, but it was like a deflating balloon. You could feel the air, or well I guess in this case water, being let out. Each season that balloon got a little bit less full, and now it kind of feels like it's basically running on empty. Don't get me wrong, if I put on a modern episode of the show for my goddaughter or my nephew, I'm sure they'd love it. Did you say Spongebob? 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 But I don't think the newer episodes of the show appeal to anyone outside of that younger demographic. It's just not the same. And I'm saying that with my nostalgia glasses off. I spent a full day in a room full of near 30 year olds watching the original episodes and listening to them quote the show word for word as it was happening. You don't believe me? You think you think I'm you think I'm making this up? I'm I'm some kind of I'm some kind of liar. Here's your proof. Super, super, special, special, secret, secret. Patrick, say that again. That again. No, the other thing. No. I'll have you know, I stubbed my toe last week while watering my spice garden, and I only cried <laughs> for 20 minutes. Friends who do stuff together, you is for you and me. Air is for anywhere, anytime at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. I had a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning. Yes, yeah, so. Without any milk. Squidward, I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. I'm Squidward. He's Squidward. You're Squidward. Are there any other Squidward that you know about? In my opinion, I think the show has fallen prey to the Family Guy effect. Which is what I call when a show has outlived its usefulness. But the audience of the show isn't ready to part ways with its leads. I mean, think about it. What more could SpongeBob or, or Peter Griffin do? that they haven't already done. What story can you tell with these characters that you haven't already told, or at least vaguely hinted at? They've done it all. There's nothing left for them to do except rehash the past. Try to recreate past stories, albeit slightly differently. This is a problem with newer Spongebob, like, a lot. A lot. Like, I don't watch the show anymore. I'm... I'm, I'm about to turn 28, so I, I, I don't sit around watching Spongebob all day. However, sometimes my other jobs require me to watch children, and then I, I'm forced to watch Spongebob. But I can list at least seven or eight times that I watched a newer episode of Spongebob and just kept saying to myself, wait, haven't, isn't this, isn't this the, no, no, but it, but it is, but it's not actually that, but it, but it is. They reuse stories time and time again. And I can't even fault them for it because how much creative leeway do you have when you've been doing the show for 20 years? They've done it all. There's nothing left. Even the newest SpongeBob movie that's coming out is a story about Gary going missing. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Do I even need to bring up that this has been done before? I'm sure a lot of you are having a good cry having flashbacks to that heartbreaking Gary come home shit. I'm not even, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm fine. It's, it's okay. The show has become their own Simpsons did it. 
So now the series feels like it's no longer about putting in the extra effort to tell a good story. The groundwork has already been laid out for them. Now it's just about continuing the lifespan of this seemingly immortal Sponge. Also like Family Guy, Spongebob is best remembered for what it was, not what it's turned into today. When people are quoting or memeing the show, more often than not it's the first four seasons of the series or the movie. The later episodes just kind of don't have that staying power in your memory. While I can't sit here and act like modern Spongebob is horrible because I really don't think it is, the show can still be good at times. Hell, at times it could still even be great. The anniversary episode where they go to the shore and the characters watch their own voice actors reenact scenes from the show comes to mind. That may actually be one of my favorite episodes in the entire series. Don't you have somewhere else to be a nitwit? Not until four. But despite these occasionally great moments, it still pales in comparison to the earlier days. If you were to compare an older episode to a more modern episode of Spongebob, it's a rather large fall from grace. This show went from being one of the greatest cartoons of all time, to now just being one of the longest running. Still, Spongebob will have a legacy unrivaled. And not just because of its inability to die, but because of the show and the character's ability to relate to people almost universally for decades. And for as bad as some would argue it's gotten, it's still the number one cartoon show in the world. And that about wraps things up here. Who are you people? Do you think he knows the Muffin Man? I'm the Clown Prince of Crime, and that was the Prince of Personality, the Infuso. Or so he says. So if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too want to become a V-tard, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow the man on Twitter, because it's not stalking if it's on the internet, after all. <laughs> Join the fun by joining the Discord. If for some strange reason you want to show support, and I don't know why you would, and if you have a dollar to spare, head over to the SIJW's Patreon, where you can request videos, get exclusive content, and early access to scheduled videos. Or head to his PayPal, where you can buy the shirts. Oh, aren't those lovely? And just remember, if you're not tuning in, you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob, are you trying to put me in that nut house? No, just into this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that me? Sponge Bob, you wouldn't last even one day saying. in the wild. Is that this supposed to be a fish? Your natural it's habitat. Sponge. Why is it Plankton just said, let me go check the trash to see if there's any old patties there and then take the four of Because the don't you understand that the Krabby Patty is so delicious no one would ever throw it out? You're not questioning the fact that he was chasing what he thought was a jelly bean around his hand? Oh, he's fat. Mm -hmm. are you sure you want to give me this mayonnaise? It's all yours. How do they have mayonnaise in the soup? <laughs> Start questioning things. Start questioning things forever.